We believe this video will help you understand your chemotherapy treatment. Learning about chemotherapy and how to manage side effects may help you to feel more in control of your life during treatment. We hope this video will also help your family understand your treatment and how they can help you. It is important that you and your family talk about any questions you have after watching this video. We encourage you to speak with your nurse and other health care team members if you have any questions about this information or if you need more information or support. Now that your doctor has prescribed chemotherapy, you may have questions and concerns. If you have questions as you watch this video, write them down. Later, you can discuss these questions with your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist. If you'd like to watch this video again, ask to borrow a copy. Let's start with a few things that people often ask about. What is chemotherapy? When and how is it used? And what are the side effects? No one can know exactly what your experience will be until your treatment begins. We hope that learning about chemotherapy will help you understand your treatment and help you with talking to your health care team. Let's begin by explaining what chemotherapy is. The word chemotherapy comes from the words chemical and therapy. Chemotherapy has come to mean using drugs to control the growth of cancer. Chemotherapy drugs have been used to treat cancer for many years. Today, many different drugs are used, each destroying cancer cells in different ways. Chemotherapy is one of the main ways of treating cancer. It may be used alone or along with surgery or radiation. Your doctor will explain what forms of treatment and what chemotherapy drugs are best for you. The way you receive chemotherapy will depend on the kinds of drugs your doctor has prescribed. Usually, chemotherapy is given by mouth, by injection into a vein, skin, or muscle, or by mixing the drug into a solution and letting it flow into a vein for half an hour or more. Most patients don't notice anything special when they get their chemotherapy, but everyone is different. So if you feel something unusual, tell the nurse or doctor giving you the chemotherapy. How long or how often you get chemotherapy depends on many things. The type of cancer you have, the type of chemotherapy drugs you're getting, how the cancer responds to the chemotherapy, and what type of side effects you have. Every effort will be made to fit your chemotherapy treatments into your schedule. It's important to understand that your treatment schedule is part of how chemotherapy works, and so treatment should not be changed without a very good reason. All drugs have both wanted effects and unwanted effects. Knowing about the unwanted effects or side effects in advance can help you to prepare for and deal with your treatment. Chemotherapy affects everyone differently. Some people have few or no side effects at all. It's good to keep that in mind as we talk about some of the side effects you might have. Remember, the amount or severity of side effects is not an indicator of how well the chemotherapy drugs are working. It's just your own body's response to the treatment. Let's go over things in detail, and then we'll review the key points to remember at the end. Some chemotherapy drugs can cause a queasy, upset stomach feeling called nausea. Severe nausea can cause vomiting. If you feel nauseous or if you vomit, remember that it's temporary. Tell your nurse. There are medicines that can help reduce these feelings. You may find you're not as hungry as usual. Again, this is temporary. One of the best ways to deal with this is to eat tasty meals in small amounts and to eat more often. If your mouth is sore, tell your doctor. Here are some things you can do to help lessen the problem. 
Use a baking soda mouthwash often. Avoid citrus fruits and juices and replace spicy, rough and crunchy foods with foods that are soft and easy to swallow. Blood tests will be done to check your blood count. Chemotherapy drugs often affect the blood and temporary changes are expected. If your white blood count becomes low, you may have trouble fighting infections. It's important to stay out of crowds and away from people with colds or other illnesses. If you have a fever over 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, call your doctor right away. If your red blood count becomes low, your blood may not be able to carry as much oxygen as usual. So you may feel tired. Rest as much as you need to. Try to continue your normal activities and try to eat well-balanced meals. Eating will help you keep your energy levels higher. If your platelet count becomes low, your blood may not clot to stop bleeding as fast as usual. Try to avoid cuts, bumps, and bruises. Sometimes a blood transfusion is given if blood counts drop very low. Some chemotherapy drugs affect hair cells. This can mean partial or complete hair loss. It can take two to five months, but your hair will grow back after your chemotherapy is over. In the meantime, you may want to wear a wig or a hairpiece or a scarf, cap or hat. Ask about programs in your area to help you look good and feel your best. If you're a woman who's still menstruating, your periods may temporarily become irregular or stop, or you may have breakthrough bleeding. You may also have temporary symptoms like those of menopause, hot flashes or vaginal dryness or discharge. Women receiving chemotherapy are still able to become pregnant. So it's very important to continue using birth control and to avoid becoming pregnant. Discuss birth control with your doctor and keep up with your regular pap tests. If you're a new mother getting chemotherapy, stop breastfeeding. In men, some chemotherapy drugs can lower the sperm count, although the ability to father a child is not usually affected. You may wish to discuss sperm banking with your doctor, as this should be done before chemotherapy is started. It's not really known how chemotherapy drugs affect babies who are conceived during treatments. So it's very important for you to use birth control while on chemotherapy and for several months after your treatments are finished. While chemotherapy may affect fertility, it usually has no direct effect on your ability to enjoy sex. If you experience sexual concerns or problems, talk to your nurse or doctor. 